Good evening, everybody. Great to be here again. I've never done a top 10 list. Never have done a top 10 list. Maybe I'll do top 10 books one day or uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'd be doing top 10s of. But I come across an article. It wasn't by winepress.org and I, I don't remember what I was reading. But it then spurred me to think about persecution. Oh, it wasn't reading. I apologize. I was listening to the radio. And uh, they were talking about the Voice of Voice of the Martyrs uh, program. And uh, I heard most of the story, but I, was, uh, I started thinking beyond that. And I do that sometimes. Uh, my mind goes elsewhere on other subjects. But I thought I was talking about persecution. And I've done videos on persecution. I did a podcast on persecution. But what I was thinking of, what are the top 10 countries that Christians are persecuted? Now, in some of those countries, uh, uh, Catholics, <coughs> Catholics are considered Christian. Yes, Catholic means Christian, but the Roman Catholics are considered Christian. So I decided to do that list. So I did the top 10 list. So, and this isn't my own, and it didn't come from a Christian website or anything like that. It just came from a regular state uh, uh, bureau or something like that. One of those federal bureaucracies, so they're more leaning to the left than they are right. So, let's go over the list. So, number one, Afghanistan. What is their religious uh, affiliation? What are they predominantly, uh, what is their allowed state run, like China state run? Islam. Okay, it can happen. Let's, let's go on. Let's not judge it on one country. Let's not do that. Number two, North Korea. Communist. So, you got communists killing Christians. Number three is Somalia. Islam. Number four, Libya. Islam again. Number five, Yemen. Islam again. Number six, now I may pronounce this wrong, but Eritrea. Here's something interesting about Eritrea. I, I was a little thrown off by it. I wasn't surprised, but I was thrown off by it. There are only three denominations that you are allowed to be affiliated with in Eritrea. Anything else, you're either harassed or, or killed or anything like that. Islam, Catholic, and Lutheran. Now, you've seen some videos I made in the past. All the same. Sorry, Lutherans out there watching. Sorry, Catholics are watching out there. It is what it is. And it's unfortunate. Number seven, Nigeria. Islam. Number eight, Pakistan. Islam again. Number nine, Iraq. Islam. And number ten, India. Hinduism. And people say, well, no, no, no. Hindus are about peace. Are they? You know, on the surface, they seem like it, but there's some very violent people in that religion. Now, I'm not going to get deeper into it. I, I have a, a, a cursory, not, that's not the right word. Uh, I have a little bit of knowledge of that, just some studying that I did. And not from like other people, from their actual books of teaching and then learning outside of that from former members and so, just saying. So that's the top 10. Now that was top 10. Now, let's see. One, let's see. One, two, three, three. I'm sorry, one, two, two, I should say, are not Islam. So eight out of the top 10 are have to do with Islam. And then you got the one that was communist. No surprise there. I, I, I thought China would be a little bit higher on the list, but they're not. China gets out away from away a lot of things, don't they? Very good at keeping their secrets secret. But the Eritrea, which is interesting, was the interesting one. Islam, Catholic, and Lutheran. Let that sink in for a moment. That those three would be aligned. Now, on the flip side of that, I decided I was going to go make a top ten list of top ten countries that. Muslims are um, persecuted. Interesting thing here. I couldn't find any. There were countries that they were most likely to be harassed. 
But there wasn't an actual persecution list. I found this list that I just was telling you about. Tons of those. But not the other one. Very weird. Because Bible believers don't go killing people because of their belief. We'll debate them. We'll argue with them. We'll let them know. We'll preach to them. We pray for them. But we never wish death upon them. Because that vengeance belongs to the Lord. I appreciate you top uh, top ten. I appreciate you tuning into the top ten uh, countries that Christians are persecuted. And have a beautiful night. God bless.